I just came across an article that I have to share. As busy as I am, and I haven't been able to do videos lately, this just has to be shared. you got to check this out. It's on Breitbart, of course. Headline is, Pope Francis says global warming is a sin that man can atone by recycling and carpooling, right? Let me scroll down a little bit here. It says, in his message for the World Day of Prayer for the Care of Creation Thursday, Pope Francis said the human-induced global warming, as well as a loss of biodiversity, are sins against God, which must be atoned for by planting trees, avoiding the use of plastic and paper, and separating refuse. So, let me get this straight. When this Jesuit Pope is asked about the abomination of homosexuality and homosexual marriage itself, he says, who am I to judge? And, I, and that, that's just one point I'm making because there's tons and tons of things that he has said in the last few years that literally show where his loyalty lies. But he says, who am I to judge when it comes to something that the Bible calls an abomination, but global warming is somehow an out-and-out -out sin, even though there is nary a single Bible verse touching on global warming, nor are there any real scientific data to back it up. Still, he will boldly step up to declare global warming a sin, but... The many Bible verses declaring homosexuality is not just sinful, it is an abomination unto God, and this so-called religious leader refuses to echo the Lord's word on that. The Pope also stated, if you scroll down a little bit here, he said, for human beings to destroy the biological diversity of God's creation, to degrade the integrity of the earth by causing changes in its climate, to contaminate the earth's waters, its land, its air, and its life, these are sins, he wrote. Summing up, the Pope stated, that to commit crime against the natural world is a sin against ourselves and a sin against God. So, when a man degrades the image of God that he was created in by laying with another man, this Jesuit Pope says, who am I to judge? But to pluck up a tree, he gets all upset and declares it a sin against God. As for the claims we have more CO2 today on a global basis due to man's industrial activity, this Pope denies the scientific data that shows the planet recycles itself quite nicely just as it was created. In fact, it has been published not too long ago that the CO2 levels of today are at the exact same levels of 1910 when mankind started using fossil fuels. So how is it the Pope ignores these facts? How is it that he ignores the fact that when you can replant the tree, it actually grows to do as it was created to do, but you cannot resurrect the sinner that dies in sin? Well, it's simple. This pope and every pope before him is a card-carrying pagan. And as we all know, the pagans worship the sun, the moon, and the stars. So in order to keep the faith of his pagan forefathers, he will uplift the creation over and above the creator God, just as prophecy predicted. This is also why homosexuality is running rampant in the Vatican, and all over the world, in fact, because not only did the prophet Daniel see this thousands of years ago, it was stated in Romans chapter 1, verses 24 and 5, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. So pagans worship the creatures. And as we now see, the largest known organized group of homosexual men on the planet, as well as pedophiles, is found in the Vatican wherein paganism is promoted. They even admit they promote paganism in writing. Cardinal Newman admits in his book that the use of temples, and these dedicated to particular saints, and ornamented on occasions with branches of trees, incense, lamps, and candles, votive offerings on recovery from illness, holy water asylums, holy days or holidays, and seasons, use of calendars, processions, blessings of the field, sacerdotal vestments, the tonsure, the ring in the marriage, turning to the east, images, you know, like statues and whatnot, the ecclesiastical chant, and the Kyrie eleison are all of pagan origin and sanctified by their adoption into the church. But it's much, much worse than you think. There's a much more sinister reason why the Vatican is pushing global warming. It was the idol that Satan set up for them, the pagans that is, long ago, eons ago in fact, wherein the false worship of the planet was brought forth so as to have the perfect pawns in the last days that will have political power that will help him to bring about the long prophesied enforcement of the mark of the beast. And for more info on that, see my videos, Global Warming to Bring Global Government and Pope Francis, Climate Change and Sunny Laws. And then also see my web pages titled The Mark of the Beast and Climate Change will lead to the mark. Thank you for watching. God bless.